Hi beauty fam, welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty. I'm actually gonna do a video where people uh, actually asked me to do this before, but I I just woke up <laughs> and this is what I look like. I wear glasses and I'm actually gonna do my morning routine and show you if I can do a video of my morning and evening routine of my skincare. So we'll do that. So this is what my skin looks like in the morning. Um, and I definitely have an evening routine, but have gooky stuff on my face, so I'm gonna wash it. Okay, so my eyes just get watery a lot through the night, um, so I definitely have to wash my face in the morning. And I have been using Biologic Recherche Lay You, uh, their vegetal cleansing milk. It's basically, what can I read here? Uh, is a makeup remover that gently removes impurities to protect functions of the epidermis. Non-greasy texture leaves skin clean and fresh. So I'm not using it to remove makeup, and this is what it looks like. And I usually do, let's do three pumps. I do two to three. It's basically a gentle cleaner. And because I have rosacea, I just have found that using gentle cleansers like milk cleansers are just best for me. For years, I used Cetaphil, and that works really well too. I just wanted something more natural. Cetaphil is dermatologist tested and I think created maybe, but I, there's something when I switch to Biologic Recherche, it really just helped calm down my rosacea. So I just really work that into my skin And because it's got milk in it and those enzymes that actually kind of cleanse <coughs> the face gently. Okay, so I'm gonna wash this off. Okay, so my face is cleaned up and I actually grab a fresh cloth every time. So I use these um, baby cloths I got off of Amazon and I just reuse these probably um, the morning one. I. So I use this, a fresh one every day. I don't want to use a dirty towel because dirt and bacteria can be on there. And what I do is because I'm just kind of wiping off the water, I'm done cleaning my face. So I just kind of put this aside to dry and then I use this to, uh, for my evening routine. And then I just use one of these per day and chuck it. Um, not chocolate. I put it in the hamper and then it's clean. So that's something I learned to do to keep uh, bacteria and acne away is actually using a fresh one of these every day. Don't reuse it over, like, I don't use my hand towel to clean my face, if that makes sense. Um, the other thing I was going to say is that whenever I rinse my face or any contact of water over my face, I never use super hot or super cold water. I use tepid water, so it's like in between, kind of like a cool water. And that just kind of helps with my rosacea. So I'm also a contact wear and lens wearer and my eyes are really sensitive. Um, you can see where I'm just, it looks like I'm tearing up. Um, actually, um, the air quality is really bad in the Northwest because we're having fires still. So I've actually been um, using the Simacillin Allergy Eye Relief and just putting one or two drops in the morning. I actually have a lot of these around my house in my car and my family member is an eye doctor and she recommended using this product and they have things really like dry eye and Simac dry eye and allergy relief. So I have a bunch of these so these are a really good product. Before I use my serums I like to use a toner and I've been using the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner and I try to use this every day Sometimes I forget, honestly, but it's okay. I just uh, try to use this when I remember. And it's very gentle. And that niacinamide helps with like my pores on my nose and tightening my pores. Good Molecules is a really good brand in that. It's, I'm gonna put, do bring this down to my neck. It's a good brand in that it's very sensitive. Doesn't have any additives of like perfume or things that you don't need in your skincare. So I'll try to do this every morning if I can. If not, it's not a big deal. Something I've also added to my routine and the Sephora. So that's the nice and my brightening toner. Something else I usually add, but I ran out is the Salwasu uh, Water Essence Bio. Can't remember. I'll put it here. The 
Sulasu Bloomstay Vitalizing Essence. Next thing I put in my routine, I've been using this Common Air 10% Vitamin C Serum. And it's it's been really great. It comes in these little capsules. And so the thing with vitamin C is that it's kind of unstable. You don't want it exposed to light. And you squeeze and twist one capsule and you massage onto your face in the morning and at night. Um, and so I have found that even one of these capsules is like way too much for my face. So I can open one of these, use half of it, and then save it for the evening. So I just twist it. And these, are, I guess, are biodegradable. So you, you want to be careful. You don't want to squeeze the this while you're taking the cap off. And I just actually put a little bit here, squeeze a little bit here. And you'll see it's like more than enough actually. I'm gonna put some down here too. So there's like half of this is still in there and you don't wanna like rub it in, you just wanna pat it in. And that's what my esthetician told me is that when you rub it in, it kind of, what did she say? It breaks down the vitamin C and you don't wanna do that. So you kinda of wanna do this. So before I was doing this and she was like, no, 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 just roll it on or pat it on. Let me know if you've heard that before, but that's what my esthetician was telling me. And so what this vitamin C does, it just adds this like glowy layer. And I noticed my skin has been a lot better since I started using these. Uh, vitamin C is on and I tend to use these two products as my OGs. My hyaluronic acid and the niacinamide. Now I had read, and these are both good molecules products. I had read to use hyaluronic acid first because it's better because it plumps the skin and then put all the other serums on after. I do a combination of both. I've noticed like a higher result when I put the niacinamide first, but I also want to not overdo like the treatment right away. So this is like a huge bottle because I use this. So you can see I like that it's clear. There's again, there's no additives. I don't use an, an entire pipette because that's just too much. And this is hyaluronic acid, just helps plump the skin. Also put it on my neck. Okay, and it says uh, formulated to draw moisture into the skin for deeper hydration. I'm, let, I'm supposed to let it absorb for 30 seconds before I go on to the next one. Okay, so I actually have this on my tune, just that, just that I show you. I actually have a fan where I do my skincare. And I just use this to like help dry down whatever I'm putting on my face, whether it's serums or um, moisturizer. So it's been 30 seconds and I am running out of this. So I need to reorder it. This is the niacinamide serum. It is supposed to help with skin texture and minimize pores. So if I can get some, let's see if I can get some in there. I know it's always like, I usually have these in stock like there. So I have enough, do you see that here? That is enough. I don't need any more than that. A little goes a long way, especially after you've put down the vitamin C and that um, hyalur hyaluronic acid. So that's the nice thing about using the vitamin C and hyaluronic acid first is that then you don't have to use as much product after. This is the part where I actually do my eye cream. So I've been using the Sislea Eye and Lip Contour Cream. And this is probably my favorite product for eye cream. For the longest time, I was using Call It Lake, uh, their gold line. Um, I'm taking a little just scoop here. And all you need is kind of like a rice size. And put that there. Um, and just use that a little bit of there. And then I have some leftover. Always put on your ring finger because that's the most gentle one. And then any leftover I just kind of put here because actually it is for eyes and lips, like the crepiness that happens as we age here. I don't do that all the time, but just remember if I have leftover. So that is the Sislea Eye and Lip Contour Cream. I don't remember the price of this. It is spendy, but it takes me like almost a year to get through this. So for me, it's worth the investment. And then for 
for my final facial cream, I usually use this on the daily and I'm actually out. So I'm waiting to get this for the Sephora sale. This is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. And I think Rich Lipid Replenishment Cream. I, this is like my OG and it is a refillable container. Oh, there is some. So you have this, it's this container where, I'll show it to you. This part is reusable and what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna refill this container. So it's recyclable. I'm gonna actually use some. No, this is no scent. And it just helps with my face because of my eczema and rosacea here. I notice when I use that, my redness goes down. And so my face will be red for a little bit because I just woke up and I'm doing the skincare routine. So what I remember is that um, I think this part is recyclable, but I can't remember. I'm going to keep this intact just in case. But I'm going to definitely buy uh, two of these, the replacements, during the Sephora sale. There wasn't very much of that left, and I just put it here. I want more uh, moisture on my face. And two, two products I've been using... Uh, but I only use one today just to for for you to know. I've been using the Biologic Recherche Cream MSRH. And this is an anti-aging face cream. So it's their Biologic Recherche's version of an anti-aging cream. And I actually also use the Sisleya anti-aging cream, this one here. And I'll open it so you can see what it looks like. It's got that cap here to keep everything fresh. And I'm almost out of this. So it's probably been... I want to say eight months. It's lasting almost a year, not completely, but it's a great, it has that great Sisley smell. Um, I think after I use this, I'm going to try this because I have found that Sisley is beautiful. Like I think it's a better product than Chantecaille almost because there's more science behind it and they've been around longer. But I find that my skin might even be react uh, better and quicker with Biologic Recherche. So it's probably around the same price point to get like a jar of this with this. This has a smell. The thing about Biologic Research, it's not about like the nice smells like Chantecaille and Sisley. It's natural, bioidentical. This is about like the science. So it has like a almost a yeasty smell that some people might not like, but I don't care because it works. So this is the anti-aging cream and it's just a really lovely, lovely cream. And that's all you probably need like a pea size and I do work the product in between my fingers first and then just pat it on I'm just doing really gently with the product just patting it on not forgetting behind the ears and his neck and I try to get back here decollete, decollete and any other remaining cream I try to put on my hand I have to do this in my routine so I have that with that eye contour or the eye cream for Sisley I I got a deal where it actually came in a box set I think it's available still and if you want to check my links below I have a like to know shop list so you can see the product I bought so it's the eye cream with this product and it's cool it's like a roller and I just it lifts everything so I do this for puffiness I like to roll everything out. Okay, and that's just eye cream, and I try to wipe it down after. And this is my my this is my OG, the Chantecaille Bio Lifting Roller. I tried Gua Sha, it didn't work for me. Actually, like actually irritated and ruined my skin a little bit. This is the gentle roller. So these are four rollers that actually individually roll, and there is a charge to it, but I don't feel it. It's supposed to recharge through this but I don't know I'm just believing that it works I don't feel any electrical current so I just use that for like depuffing and lifting it's really great when I've had headaches or migraines I'll like put it up here it'll feel great kind of roll it over here for me it just helps move the lymph and then like depuffing my face and sculpting because I notice I'm trying to get saggage here, right? Cheekbones. And I have big cheeks, so I like to do this. I'm not pressing hard, I'm just rolling. And then what do I tell? Oh, it's supposed to be up for lifting. Because we get the neck saggage as we age. 
So I do a couple of rounds of this as well, and then go back in here and do this. Um, the other product I use, and I'll do a, a separate review of it another time, because I don't have time right now, is the zip. It actually does have microcurrents, and you can use this. It, uh, you can feel the microcurrents, and you have to plug charge it. Uh, it has a gel as a conductor. Um, and I'll do a separate review of this and show you how it works and let you know what I think of it. But chime in if you want to see some more details about that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's my morning routine. My hair has been up all night. I sleep with my hair up in a bun because it's so long. Um, so I'm just <laughs> trying to look a little bit more presentable. I use the Rain Cry brush. Uh, it's got some boar bristles and then some plastic bristles, and this is the one that worked best for me. And, you know, it's, just use that to like clean up my hair a little bit, move some oils. I usually do a day two or three wash with my hair because the oils um, get, it gets oily up here, but then I try to use the dry shampoo. But if I'm out and about, I will definitely wash my hair every two days because it's been smoky and pollution and just like, you know, COVID's still around. So I like to make sure that don't bring anything into the house. Okay, so that's looking good. Just wanted to brush up my hair. And then quite honestly, what will happen is that my hair will be in constant flux of up down all day. So I'm going to be doing some household things this morning. So the hair will be either in a bun or a ponytail until I head out. So I hope that was a helpful or interesting um, get ready with me of my skincare in the morning. If you have any questions on the products, let me know. If you've tried any of these in the morning or they didn't work for you or if they did, let me know um, what, does your, what is in your morning skincare routine. I'll try to do an evening one. Um, and then all the products that I used here, I will link below. Some of these things are sold out. Like for example, when this gets back online to be sold. It always sells out really quick. So um, let me see if I can find it. But just know that this is, I got this through the Shantikai website. It's the one that works best for me. I'm back, I forgot one more thing. It's sunny today. And um, even if it's sunny, you can still get um, exposure to sun. So I forgot to let you know, I usually put this on before my makeup. Um, I wear SPF as well. So I've been using the Live Tinted Hugar 3-in-1 Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer and Primer, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And I had my esthetician look at the ingredients. It's UV A and B, rays and blue light. And she looked at the zinc oxide being the highest out of all of my SPFs. So it's like 18.23 zinc oxide. So um, don't forget your sunscreen. Doesn't matter oops, <laughs> doesn't matter your skin tone, you should always try to wear uh, SPF. And so that is the color. It's kind of like this creamy beige, a little bit, the color, the color, it's like the color of the container. Um, and I have two of these. I found these on sale two for one during the summer. And so I just have one in my car at all times in case anyone needs it. And then I have this uh, next to my uh, makeup prep because I remember to put this on as primer slash sunscreen. So I just wanted to hop on here and let you know, just remember always to wear your sunscreen. Don't forget your ears, especially if they're gonna, your hair is gonna be up. Um, and actually, likely this area might get exposed. So don't forget to do your decollete in your neck area. So just putting that in there. Okay.